I'm Scott, the lead repair tech here at Akuma Fishing Tackle, and we're gonna go over some of my favorite points on lubricating a bait cast reel. Um, quite simple, uh, easy process, but really helps the, the life of your reel and really the longevity and keeps it in here from service and it keeps you out on the water as much as you can. So we'll go over that real quick. Very simple process. Um, the first place I like to start for my four points of lubrication are the handle knobs. Um, if your reel is new or is in really good condition, the easiest point of doing this is to put a drop of oil in between the handle arm and the knob assembly itself. You just put one drop there, let it work it in, soak it in. You do the same to the other side. One drop in, let it soak in. And this will help, because the first thing you're going to notice on the reel when you're spinning it is if the handle knob starts to get rusty or corroded, you're going to feel it and it's going to cause a little bit of vibration, a little bit of feeling through the whole reel. Now if your reel has been used a bit and these are starting to corrode or you can see a little white buildup of electrolysis at the bottom of the contact points, the best thing to do would be to remove the caps for your reel. And you just pull these off counterclockwise, loosen them. You just put a drop of oil in each cap and the bearing sits down there. You just put it back on clockwise. And the thing that we found works the best is a penny or a dime. And you can also use a flathead, but we found it can scratch the, the anodizing up a little bit. So we recommend something as simple as a penny or a dime to get these little caps off. So that was the first point. The second point I like to do is the level wind assembly. The, the gear shaft has a bearing on each side and those are really important to, to lube up because it really helps with your distance casting if you're trying to get a jig out there. And then on top of that, it just helps the reel last a lot longer because these are they're such small bearings. A little bit of corrosion setting in really makes a difference on how the reel feels and how it casts. So you just put a couple of drops on each side. Let them work into the bearing. Just play with the reel a little bit. And that works it into there. So, so far out of the two of the four, we have the handle taken care of, we have the level one taken care of. Then I like to go to the cast control cap. This is kind of overlooked. People don't really look at the bearing in here. They don't really see it as a free spool item or anything that's gonna affect the comfort of the reel. But this is a very important one because water can get in between the body of the reel and the spool. And that water can go along the shaft and sits in between the pinion and the bearing. And when that bearing corrodes, the reel becomes really sluggish and really hard to turn because it's freezing the bearing in place. So a very simple one, this is bearings right under the cap, is you can just basically flood it with some, uh, some grease, some oil in there, and just work it in. And that keeps that bearing nice and smooth for your pinion assembly. And that's all it is, just a couple of drops under the cap and you're good to go. And the last of the four steps would be lubricating the spool bearings. On this assembly, we have a locking screw, counterclockwise, pulls it off. Some of the smaller bait casters do not have this feature. Um, they're just the, the locking side plate on its own. This one, you pull to the right, release it, and then you can pop it up and it would pull out. And then from there, two bearings, very simple design. You just wanna lubricate your bearings. There's one or two drops in each one. Work it in a little bit. And same on the other side one or two drops in there, work it in a little bit, and right back in. So those are four of the basic lubrication points on a bait caster. And just these four lubrication points will make a big difference in the longevity of your reel and keeping it out of the shop for maintenance.